Hi all. Uh, I'm back in Goring um, for lunch today. I've just stopped here um, for 20 minutes or so. Um, for a particular reason, actually. Um, I came here uh, a couple of weeks ago to see this church behind me where Lewis Carroll uh, used to give sermons. Um, Goring and Streetly, if you've never been, is um, and they're lovely places, they're two separate uh, towns that face each other across the River Thames, just linked by a bridge. <clears throat> Very pretty, lovely, lovely place. Um, but I noticed something when I was here two weeks ago, um, that I've been mulling over ever since. Um, first time I ever came to Goring, I come to these places for lots of different reasons. Sometimes it's historical significance, I'm interested in a building or something that happened there. Sometimes, uh, quite often actually, it's ancestry, my own ancestry. I'm following, um, following leads uh, to where uh, ancestors lived and things like that. And uh, I had some in this area. But uh, other reasons is uh, a film location, a favorite film, or books. Um, and Goring uh, features largely in uh, some of my favorite books. I um, don't know if you ever read Bulldog Drummond. I don't read much fiction, but I still love Bulldog Drummond, have done since I was a kid, uh, along with Biggles and everything else. But uh, Bulldog Drummond, uh, had the very first book was uh, partially based here in Gorman. Um Now, the writer was a chap called H.C. McNeil. Um, he was uh, an officer in the First World War when he started writing. And the first stories he wrote way before the books were for the Daily Mail. They published them, a series of um, short stories. Um, and he had to come up with a pen name, or nom de plume, as the French call it. <clears throat> a lot more fancier than a pen name, isn't it? They always do everything fancier than we do. Um, and uh, having been in this situation myself, I used a couple of pen names when I wrote for motorcycle magazines and uh, when I wrote for um, uh, newspaper articles. I was a correspondent, um, music correspondent for a while. And I use different names. <clears throat> um, and it's hard to come up with them. You know, you, you wander around looking for inspiration. Um, now, H.C. McNeil, his first name was Herman, uh, which for an officer in the First World War, a British officer, wasn't a done thing. So most, most people called him by his middle name, Cyril, um, which was fair enough. But once he started writing, he wasn't allowed to use his proper name because he was still in the army, even though the war had finished. Um, so he needed this, this pen name. Um, the story goes, wherever you read it, that the editor of the Daily Mail decided that they'd call him Sapper uh, because he'd been in, or was still at that time, in, in the Royal Engineers, and Sappers is what they're known as. Um, but I found something here at Goring, which I know is a place that was close to his heart. I used to visit a lot, and the story was partially based here, as I said. And I was looking at this war memorial, actually looking for um, my own uh, ancestors. See what we always do. But I noticed, noticed this while I was going through the names. Now it's going to be backwards for you, I'm sorry. But here, um, if you can read this, it's Sapper. See, Royal Engineers, Sapper. Um, usually they quite often just put Royal Engineers. Um, but his name, Private Good Enough. Good Enough, Sapper. And I can't help wondering whether uh, Herman H.C. McNeil was wandering around here and saw this good enough sapper and thought you know what that's good enough i think i'll use that mm. i don't know i've been mulling it over for a couple of weeks now and uh, it's certainly possible i think what do you think you think I've, i'm always looking for strange things like this let me know what your thoughts are <laughs> bye